Well, welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. The Jamaican and West Indies all-rounder Dean Smith has once again cast the light on the Windies' top order batsmen following their 13-run defeat to New Zealand in their first of three T20 internationals at Sabina Park on Wednesday. Smith was left not out on 27 from 12 balls, while Romario Shepard made 31 from 16 as the two shared in an unbroken 58-run eighth-wicket partnership to take the Windies to 172 for 7, needing 186 runs for victory. Shamar Brooks, 42, and Nicholas Perrin, 15, were the only batsmen from the top five to reach double figures. Speaking after Wednesday's defeat, Smith called for more consistent contributions from the top order. I wouldn't say frustrating. Um, you know, the guys went out today and they didn't apply themselves. Um, but it's a team, you know, if they don't do it at the top, we are the guys, we the guys in the middle or, or at the bottom have to come, you know, and, you know, do what we have to do. So I wouldn't say it's frustrating. I just think we have to perform as a team because if the guys went out today and gave us a good start, you know, I think it would be easier for us at the back end rather than to just come in, you know, and trying to get 20 runs over, which is difficult for us. Earlier, final over of 23 runs from Jason Holder saw New Zealand post 185 for 5. Captain Kane Williamson top scored with 47, while Devon Conway made 43. But it was Jimmy Nisham with 33 from 15 balls that added the firepower towards the end. And Barbados hold the advantage at lunch and day two of their Cricket West Indies on the 19 match against Jamaica at Cumberland in St. Vincent. Barbados, who started the day at 60 for 1, reached the lunchtime interval at 167 for two after Jamaica made 234 in their first innings. Hakeem Perriman, who was 27 overnight, was a wicket to go before lunch. He made 72. Joshua Doran has so far taken his overnight 18 to 64. Jordan Johnson accounted for the one wicket to fall before lunch. On Wednesday, Johnson led the Jamaican scoring with 96, while Justin Beckford scored 55. And former Premier League campaigners Boystone returned to winning ways after beating Brownstone 2-1 in their Kasafa Championship match at the Stadium East Field. Winless in their last two games, the Red Brigades took an early fifth-minute lead through Rowan Porter. Porter returned for his second in the 36th minute as Boystone extended their lead to 2-0 going into the halftime interval. With the three points looking safe for the Red Brigades, Brownstone managed to get what turned out to be a consolation in the second minute of stoppage time as Okelia Howard converted. Victory for Boystone snapped a two-game winless run following their 3-0 defeat to Real Mona and their nil-all draw with Constant Spring. Meanwhile, Mountain View remained unbeaten in the CONCACAF in the Kasafa Major League after chalking up their third win in five games following a 1-0 victory over Augustown in the opening game of the doubleheader at the Stadium East Field. The decisive goal, it came off an Augustown player as Rowan Clark beat his own goalkeeper in the 35th minute. And that's it for your midday sports report. Giovanni, it's back to you. Uh, thanks so much, Renardo. Perhaps you should, you know, buckle up and go play for the West Indies. You may be able to do a bit better than 42 or 43. Yeah. Possibly, I could do worse. <laughs> <laughs>